Hello AACPS staff. In this short video, we're going to see how you can use your mobile device as a document camera while you are remote teaching with your students. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the steps to doing this. So step one, you're going to set up a Google Meet on your computer and join it just like you always would. Step two is that you're going to join that exact same meeting from your mobile device. Step three, really important, you're going to want to mute your computer microphone. If you are being picked up by your mobile device microphone and your computer microphone, that feedback is going to be awful. So what we recommend is muting your computer microphone and just relying on your mobile device to pick up you so that you can still talk to and address your students during this portion of the meeting. Step four, you are probably going to need to turn your camera around. The way that most of the video conferencing apps work is that they access your front-facing camera because it is assumed that what you want to share to the group from a mobile device is you. So you're going to have to click to turn it around to get that rear facing camera so that you can show them what's on a tabletop or desktop in front of you instead of you. And then step five is just put whatever you want to share with your students in front of that camera. So now that we've talked about the steps, let's get out of this presentation and let's actually do this. So here on my Chrome browser, I have a Google Meet and right now, I'm just in this meeting all by myself. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join this same meeting from my mobile device. And then I went ahead and I muted my Google Meet on the computer. So I'm relying on the audio from my mobile device. And now you guys are able to see me. Now I'm ready to turn my camera around. Depending on whether you have an Android or an iOS, you may find that this menu option is in a different place or has different terminology. On my Android, it just says switch camera. So now instead of seeing me, you guys are seeing whatever's on my tabletop here. And if I want to show something this to the students, like maybe we're doing a lesson on probability and I want to roll some dice, I just roll them here on the tabletop, collect them up so that they can all be seen underneath of the camera. And now we can talk about this roll and the probability of rolling the same numbers again. Let's talk about a different scenario. What if uh, I wanted to show the students something in a book? I can open to a page in a book that I have here and then take my camera and hold it up above it. But please notice that this is not ideal for every scenario. This font in this book is actually pretty small. It's probably about a size 10 or 11. So when I hold my camera in a position where you can see the entire page as we would probably want to do if we were using this as a document camera, I can't actually read any of the words on that. And by the time I get close enough to make out any specific words, I now can't even read across the page to see an entire sentence. So this is not going to be ideal in every scenario. If what you're trying to do is share pages in a book or a document, you may need to try this out in advance and you may find that you would do better if you captured those in advance and followed some of our other directions for uh, sharing them as a background in Google Slides and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this meeting from my mobile. And let's jump back into that presentation and wrap up what we have learned here. As discussed, there are some pros and cons of using your mobile device as a document camera. So first, let's talk about those pros. One big plus is that there is no additional software or hardware needed. You don't have to try and install the drivers that go with a document camera or install anything else on your computer or purchase anything to go with your computer. Second pro is that this is really easy to do on the fly. If you find yourself in the middle of a lesson thinking, ah, I just wish I could show my kids what I'm talking about, you can grab that mobile phone that's probably sitting a foot away from you anywhere, quickly jump into your Google Meet 
and be ready to use it as a document camera without all the prior preparation that you might need to use some other device as a document camera. And that third pro is that this is entirely portable. If you were using an actual document camera, it would need to be connected to your computer and therefore you are limited in what you can show them under that document camera lens. When you use your mobile device, you can get it up and take it with you. So if what you want to show your students under your document camera lens is something that is outside, you just take your phone outside and you're still connected to the Google Meet and you're still able to use it here as a document camera. Let's move over to those cons. I said it doesn't require any additional software and hardware, and that's not really 100% true because it does require that you have a mobile device or that you are willing to use your mobile device as a part of your instruction because that's what this whole thing is built on. Second con there is, as we saw in the video, depending on the quality of your camera, it may not be ideal in every situation. When I tried to use it to show an actual document, that text appeared so small and blurry that you couldn't see it. And I had to zoom in so close that we could only see about five or six words across the page and not even an entire sentence in order to actually be able to read that text. So so you may need to consider actually capturing documents in advance and putting them into Google Slides or drawings as we have suggested in some of our other tutorial videos. And that final con down there is one that is actually really easy to solve. When I did my video, I was holding my device in one of my hands, which means I only had one hand in order to manipulate whatever I was trying to show under the document camera, like rolling the dice or turning pages in the book. But if you want to be able to have both of your hands free, then I would suggest uh, getting something like a tripod. There's small desktop tripods, there's full-size tripods that you can get that would stand up next to your desk or tabletop, but I would consider looking into something like that so that you can truly have the hands-free experience that you would get if you were using an actual document camera. So the last item we have here on our pros and cons page isn't really a pro or a con, but it is something that is super important if you plan to use your mobile device for a document camera, you are going to need to install Google Meet on your mobile device. Now, if you have an Android phone, it may have come with Google Meet already installed on it. If not, Google Meet is available for free in both the Apple Store as well as in the Android Store. So thank you guys for watching the video tutorial. I hope you are super excited to try out using your mobile device as a document camera.